Action Aid in Somaliland has organized an event to mark the handover of irrigational equipment for smallholder farmers in Gabile region. The Deputy Governor of Gabile region and the Director General of Ministry of Agriculture, joined by officials from Action Aid, have jointly attended at the handing over occasion of irrigational equipment for smallholder farmers in Gabile. Head of Action Aid projects in Somaliland, Hashi Abdullahi, who spoke on the occasion, has discussed about the range of development projects implemented by Action Aid, plus the massive range accomplishments made for the last couple of years in Somaliland where he stated that they will distribute various kinds of irrigational equipment to smallholder farmers. The Deputy Governor of Gabile Region and the Director General of Ministry of Agriculture have equally commended this achievement and thanked ActionAid for its contribution. Mohamed Yaqub, who is a senior official from ActionAid, has also spoken at the event and expressed a tribute to the government for showing commitment in working with Action Aid, where he promised that they will contribute on their part, providing assistance to drought victims in the country, and stated, My colleague Hashi has enumerated what we have done and is being confirmed by the vice governor of the region. We couldn't have actually done this without the technical support of the ministry, which is also being represented by the Director General. I want to emphasize that we are not just supporting, but we are supporting to respond to the needs and aspirations of the people that we work with, that is, people living in poverty. So this support we are providing today is actually a lot of resources, and I want to urge our farmers, which I believe they will, to actually take good use of this things that we are going to provide to them Hello, to enable I... them use the facilities that we have already provided in the communities. These things that we are providing is actually going to directly benefit about 150 farmers, but it has repercussion effect because a lot more people are actually going to benefit from the use of these facilities. And you will also realize that uh, we have actually prepared some synopsis highlighting some of the things that we have done. Police is actually in line with our accountability principle. And we are actually going to share this information with all our beneficiaries. Areas that you think we've not got it right, please, you have the right and responsibility to challenge us. We always believe that when you are constructing a road, you will not be able to tell whether it's straight or not unless somebody tells you. For that matter, we always challenge communities to come out with alternatives as to how we need to do things differently. We in Action Aid, let me say, are going to start conversations around the next phase of this project, though it's going to end in 2016. But we are going to actually start some conversation to look at what is it that we need to do next. And I remember. Two weeks ago, we had interaction with the Minister of Agri and the Director General who is here to actually have this conversation. And we are committing to ensure that all of us, the farmers, the ministry, other civil society organizations working here, the media, are actually going to input into the next phase of this intervention. So I want to say that we are going to actually get back to you to kickstart this conversation somewhere April or me. I know one of the critical things we've all been talking about in the last one or two months has to do with the drought. And the Vice Governor already mentioned that somewhere November, December, Ashinid responded. But I want to also use this platform to inform you that Ashinid has actually secured funding, about $60,000, to procure relief items to support people affected by the drought. People from this part of the country are not going to be left out in the distribution of the relief items. We have identified the beneficiaries. We have communicated with the Ministry of Agri. We've communicated with NERAT. 
As far as our plans are concerned, and inshallah, next Sunday, I'm right. Yes. Next yeah. Sunday, we are actually going to start the distribution. We have actually involved, we have deeply involved NERAD, we have deeply involved the uh, NGO cluster meeting. We have also involved the Gable region just to make sure that we are able to effectively distribute these items to ensure that it gets to people who actually need it. Uh, we've, we've actually discussed with our peers, and at the point we had to even drop some communities because support has already been provided, or other organizations have planned to provide them with that support. We just want to make sure that we are effective and efficient in the distribution of these items. On this note, I want to conclude by thanking you for this opportunity that you have given Ashine to work with you, and to also thank the Director General, the Vice Governor of the Gable region, for spending time with us. We know they are quite busy, but at least they have taken time out of their busy schedule to be part of this process. And to the media, please, you are our partners, and we know we cannot do anything without you. We count on your cooperation. Salaamu Alaikum.